In this MapSuite MVC Edition sample app walkthrough, we're going to show you how to build some thematic maps but using the class break style. So when I mean thematic maps, I mean we want to draw uh, features based on a different range of values. So we can't use a value style because we want to draw it if it fits within a certain range. For example, this is a good, good example where we have population. So if we have countries that are greater than 100 million, we want to show them in dark green, 50 million to 100 million, show them in this color, and so on. So because we're dealing with ranges of values, we can't really use a value style. So that's when we use the class break style to set up that range and tell you know, what color we want to be rendered for that given range. So let's go ahead and take a look at the source code here. And uh, all of the sources contained here when the application is loaded. So here we're adding the map to the, uh, to the page and setting our map unit accordingly. And then uh, here's where we're actually setting up our class break style. So this is, uh, um, when you set up a class break style, you first need to tell it what uh, um, column that you're going to be keying off of. So this is going to look in the shapefile that we're using. In this case, it's country02 shapefile. And say we want to base it off of the population of that country. So when it does its analysis uh, to figure out what color to render that feature, it's going to look and see, well, what's the, you know, what's the population for, the, for that particular feature in that column. So it's looking at the tabular data to base this uh, styling information off of. So once you have your class break style created and you've told it what column you're going to key off of, the next thing you need to do is set up your ranges. So the first thing I typically do is I set up the range for the minimum value. I usually start at double dot min value so that covers all the cases. So if we have a country with no population, um, you know, it's going to show up in this grass one dot color. Now the next range is uh, we have set up here which is what 1 million. So anything from 0 to 1 million is going to show up in this color. The next thing, so we set our next break at uh, 1 million and we want to show it in evergreen. So anything from 1 million to 10 million is going to show an evergreen 2. Anything from 10 million to 50 million is going to show an evergreen 1. Anything from 50 million to um, 100 million is going to show on crop 1 and anything above 100 million is going to show in forest one. So that shows how you set up your, your breaks to where your ranges are defined. And of course you can use any styles in here. These are just using some of our pre-built ones, but you can set the colors to whatever you'd like and uh, you know create your own styles accordingly. The other great thing to know about class breaks is they're just not for area styles. You can use them for point styles, you can use them for uh, even line styles. So you could have a class break, you know, so if you wanted to base your population, you know, to make larger city points, uh, you could do that as well. So the larger, the cities that have the larger amount of population give them a larger point style accordingly. Uh, once you have all your class breaks set um, and assigned to your class break style, it's really just like any other style in Map Suite. So that's what we're doing down here is we're actually going ahead and creating our, our world layer based off our shape, shape file feature layer. And we're going to go ahead and add a um, a country one style to the custom styles collection is just a base style to to, to set down. We really won't, don't need to do that in this case, but uh, we did it just in case there was um, any shapes that didn't have any values in this whatsoever. So if it was a null, we would still render the country and it wouldn't you know be blank. And we're going to apply that for all zoom levels. And then here's where we're assigning our class break style to the layer through the custom styles collection and just using the add method to do that add our uh, world layer to the map, uh, our static overlay, and render the map out accordingly. So the end result is, is we got a nice looking map here and you can see the countries that have the highest populations are using the darker greens and the ones with the less populations are in the lighter greens. So this can be very powerful if you want to do these types of maps in your application. So I'd invite you to look at it a little bit closer if it's an interest to you. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact us or you can post your questions directly on our discussion forums at thankyou.com/forums. Thank you for watching.